What's up, Metalheads? My name is Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you are new, please consider subscribing. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button for me. All right, guys, I got my uh, thumb studs in from Flytanium for my uh, 8020.5. So in this video, we're going to be uh, taking this off, anodizing this, and putting it back on. I've heard that this can be a pain in the butt to get these uh, thumb studs off of here. Uh, so hopefully it's not as bad as I think it's going to be, but with it being a straight screwdriver, it is concerning for sure, or flathead screwdriver. What's the right size bit to use is the question. I want it to fit tight. I want it to be really tight, no play. All right, we're going to try, try this one and see what happens here. I don't know if it's going to free spin. Is it spinning? If so, I'm going to grab some tape and some pliers. Yeah, I think that's just spinning on me. All right. Do not want to scratch my blade all up. Such a dumb design. Why would you use this and not use a Torx? Yeah, it's just spinning on me. All right, let's get the Knipex pliers. Grab some tape here. Probably be better to have the blade off the knife, but I'm not going to do that. So we're just going to tape the crap out of this thing and hopefully be able to hold on to it pretty good with the pliers and break it free. Let me grab my Knipex real quick. All right. Let's see if we can do this without damaging anything. Shape, but the way those thumb studs are kind of contoured down, or they, they get smaller as they go up, it may be hard to hold on to it like that. Um, let's see here. All right. I can get this to stay like this. Let's go ahead and tape up some more of that blade. I don't want to scratch it up. Let's go ahead and tape tape it up real good. Also, I don't want to cut myself, so. And tape the edge also. Alright, can I hold this? Oh shit. This screwdriver is too long to use for this, but. Now the knife's going to spin on me. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I ended up having to go out to the garage, and uh, I put a soldering iron on the uh, thumb stud to heat it up, and then just taped over real good and grabbed it with the pliers, and finally got it off, but pain in the butt to do so and uh, definitely some some type of thread lock around there it's white whatever it is we'll leave this blade taped up here until we uh, until I get done installing the new thumb stud on there but yeah that was that was much more difficult than I thought it would be and I don't think I scratched anything I taped everything extremely well though there was tape here too but I'd take it off to get the uh, 
thumb stud out from under it. And these are the new ones, and they have a Torx, one on each side. So this should go in a lot better. And I will be Loctiting these in also. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I am going to go over to the anodizing, go over to where I do my anodizing, and uh, anodize these, and I'll be back in a minute, and we'll install them. See you guys in just a second. All right, guys, we are over here where I do my anodizing. The uh, audio may be a little off here because I don't have my regular microphone hooked up, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing over here. I've cleaned these off really good with rubbing alcohol, and now what I need to do is attach them to this titanium wire. The way I'm going to do that is right here in the middle. I'm going put to put it in here and fold this over to hold it and lock it in like that. So now it's... Uh, Locked in real good. Now we got to strip it. I probably don't need to strip them, but I'm going to go ahead and strip them from any anodization that's already on them. Uh, and the way I'm doing that is I'm using, uh, in this container right here, I have this stuff, uh, Winks Rust and Stain Remover. Now, if this had color on it, it would take the color off also. So I'm going to dip it in that for a few seconds, strip anything off. And this container here is distilled water. This container here is my electrolyte solution, baking soda and distilled water. And uh, this is where the anodizing will take place. But I'm, first, after I come out of the acid, I'm going into the distilled water to rinse. And then I'm going to dip it in there for a second. And the baking soda will neutralize any acid that's left on there. So um, you probably won't be able to see this part. But just trust me, it's eating off any oxidation that has taken place on it. Leave it in there for about five to six seconds until it starts to fizz a little bit like that. And we'll rinse it, neutralize the acid, and now we are ready to anodize. So let me put the container back on top of this. Some nasty stuff. I like this because I can put scales in there. It's wider, and uh, I can just keep reusing stuff until it doesn't work anymore. All right, so now we're going to clip our negative on to this titanium coil I've made in there. Here's our positive. First, we're going to turn on. All right, we want to be at 75 even. That's where I did the rest of it. I'm going to click my positive on, on the here, and... We'll bring you a little closer so that you can see, hopefully you can see the color change on this as it goes. All right, here we go. We're going in the water. I'm just waiting for the amperage to level out here, which it's doing. It's leveled out now, it's done. Take it out, put the power supply off. And there we go. Dry this off. Get off this wire. Wow. One side of this anodized perfectly. The other side <laughs> didn't take the anode so well. Huh. That's odd. Very odd. I'm assuming there's probably still in there. Something's off on this. Um, I'm going to try to anodize this one separately now. Try to get this purple color that you see here. I want that purple. This did not take it very well. Hopefully that's focusing in for you guys. So I'm going to back you up. <clears throat> take this apart. And... Uh, I'm going to wipe it down with rubbing now. Actually, let me acid etch it again. And uh, before I acid etch it, I've got to fill the threads with uh, fingernail polish. When it was screwed together, I didn't have to worry about that. But since I'm going to have to do this separately, I need to... Uh, actually, you know what? I don't think I need to. Let's just try to acid etch it. Or uh, try to anodize it by itself and see what happens. Um... What I'm going to try to do is just hook it on the threads here. Maybe it just wasn't making good contact with the titanium. That's what I'm hoping for because of the threading, the way it's done. Let's just dip this in and see if we get any different results by itself. And we're waiting for that 
uh, amperage to level out. It did. Yeah, definitely not getting the same color on this piece. Two different colors. Um, it's very odd. It's like they're made of different grade titanium or something. All right, I'm going to have to acid etch this one again. So we're going to try this again. Turn that off. Power supply off for now. Um, yeah, this isn't... This is odd. And I'm just going to try to put this on a plastic fork to put it in there. Get it to stay if I can. The acid won't affect the plastic. If I dip that in there for a few seconds, take that little bit of color that's on it off. I'm going to try to anodize it again. All right. Rinse. Neutralize. So now that little bit of purple that was on there is completely gone. Dry it off and then um, clean up the rubbing alcohol again. Try this one more time. Maybe now call on this paper towel. All right. I'm going to do the same thing. Turn the power supply on. Try to hook it like I did before. Dip that down in there and hopefully it gets better color this time. And I don't drop it. Yeah, it looks like it's getting better color this time. All right. Not as bright as I wanted it to be, but I think it'll work. It's like these are two different grades of titanium from titanium. They're not taking color the same way. So that's the piece we were having issues with. And that's the other piece. I think I'm okay with it, but I'm not sure what the issue is here. Um, obviously, the threads don't appear to be titanium. It does appear to be steel. But, oh well. It'll still work. All right, I'm going to stop this and I'll bring you back over and put it on. All right, guys, we are back. It's better now, but I'm going to contact Flytanium. We'll take a picture of this and send it to him and be like, what's going on here? Um, why did one anodize like this? Right? Beautiful, nice, beautiful purple color. And the other one anodized like this. It's like they're two different pieces, two different grades of titanium or something. Something's definitely different about this one. Um, so I'm going to take a picture of it and uh, send it to Flytanium and be like, hey, something's wrong here. I'm going to go ahead and install them. If they want them back, I'll send them back. But I want them to send me out another, another set because uh, that just looks terrible. So I'd almost rather have the factory ones back on there. Mm, but it would look good with that purple on there, right? All right, give me just a second, guys. All right, guys, sorry about that. I had to go where I uh, installed these to send over to Flytanium. I'm not going to Loctite these. I was going to originally, but since they're going to be coming back off, um, I don't want to put Loctite on them, so I'm just going to stick them on here for now. And uh, I did send them a message on Instagram. I will let you know how that turns out. I'm sure they'll, they'll work with me on something here. So um, let's go ahead and get this guy installed on here. Temporarily, anyway. And I'm not even going to worry about getting it too tight. I just want to see what it looks like with some purple on this side of the knife. all this tape residue off of here too
Yeah, I've never had thumb studs do that before. Um, this is new. As you can see, that side looks like that. That side looks like that. Both were done the exact same process, so I don't think it's anything I'm doing. Um, but something's clearly off. Uh, I'm going to try to tighten these down a little bit. Is that a T6 or a T8? T8. There we go. So, there we go. Got some purple. Fun funny thing is, is the backspacer is more of a satin color. The uh, pocket clip is more of like a blasted. So this side kind of matches the pocket clip, and this side kind of matches the backspacer. So there is some slight variation here. But I still think it turned out pretty good. I would like the, thumbs, the uh, thumb studs to match. Uh, but we'll see what Flatanium says. Uh, I'm sure that, like I said, I'm sure they'll work with me on it and give me another set or another side. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This one was not, uh, took a lot longer than I thought it would be. This is a long video to see a set of thumb studs installed. So if you're still here, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one.